My name is Christopher Nolan and I'm the writer and director of Dunkirk. So the protagonists we've been following, they've made their way onto this Navy destroyer off the coast of Dunkirk. And when they hear the engines go up, they believe they're going to be on their way home and a cheer goes around. And what I was interested in exploring with this scene is based on various first-hand accounts I've read of people who got evacuated onto large naval ships and then they were put down in the hold to maximize obviously you know, the number of people they could get on one ship. Um, but of course what that means is if, as here, we see a, a torpedo coming, if the boat were bombed or torpedoed, uh, these ships would go down very, very quickly. And here we're trying to show the horror of what it would be like to be trapped in that space, locked in effectively below decks. Uh, once the power goes out on the ship, you can't see anything. The water's filling the place. Um, so we cut outside to, to one of our soldiers who, like people I read about, uh, had refused to go below decks because he had an inkling that he'd be much more likely to survive if he weren't placed down below. So when we cut down below, we have flashing light and so forth, uh, but really it's about darkness. It's about that absolute fear and claustrophobia of being trapped with hundreds of other people in a dark space uh, that's rapidly filling with water. And with our research, when we looked at what happens to a naval vessel when it's torpedoed, it goes down very, very quickly. There's very little time to think, very little time to, to react in any kind of uh, productive way. Um, so to shoot this, we shot some of it on board a real destroyer off the coast of Dunkirk and then we doubled it with a force perspective set that we built in a tank so we could roll it over into the water. Um, the actors performed all their own stunt work, all the underwater work on the rolling ship there. Um, you have an Iron Bernard playing Gibson. He comes back, opens the door, revealing the light, which shows them a path for how they can get out. And the suggestion really is that's the only reason that, that they're able to escape. And that, very few other people in that, in that situation would escape or did escape. Um, and really, for me, doing the sequence at night, doing it in the dark, it was really all about trying to make it as primal as possible, as terrifying as possible. And the guiding principle for how we filmed everything in the film was to try and do things in camera, try and do them for real. As here, you know, we're, we're trying to do this from very much a soldier's point of view in the water with the ship coming down on top of you and then reinforcing that with sound and music. Uh, but really trying to be out there on the open water with a, with a real ship and really trying to put the audience in the position of what it would be like to, to live through a terrible event like that.